Hello, this video provides a brief introduction to Salt Stack, its installation process, and demos a simple Salt setup. Salt Stack or Salt is a Python based open source remote execution tool and configuration management system. The remote execution capabilities helps the user to run commands on various systems in parallel with a flexible targeting system. While the configuration management system helps the user to bring up large and complex infrastructure with great ease and efficiency. SALT is typically based on a client-server model. The server or the controlling system is known as the master. The client or the controlled system is known as a minion. At a time, many minions can be connected to a single master. A user issues commands and configurations to the minion. The minion then runs these commands and sends back the results to the master. The entire communication happens over a secure encrypted channel. This video goes through a few of the SALT components. There are many more components which will be introduced in the upcoming videos. We have already had a look at the master and the minion. Next we have SALT grains. Grains are static pieces of information about the minion such as OS, memory, model, etc. Grains are usually collected when the minion first connects to the master. Grains can be used for targeting different groups of minion. For example, I can say all the minions having Ubuntu OS installed A, B and C while all the minions having CentOS install X, Y and Z. Execution modules are the ad hoc commands executed from the command line of the master to one or more target minions. Moving on to the demo. As you can see the screen is divided in four parts. The left side is the master. The right side is the minion. Master and minion are two different systems running in Juniper lab. So first we look at installation. Installation is fairly simple. We use pip command to install salt. There, we have salt installed. Let us check once. Yeah, we have the latest carbon release. Similarly, I have installed salt on the master as well. Okay. So before we can start the master and the minion, the minion would require some minimal configuration. This configuration is present in slash etc slash salt folder in a file named minion. Here we have two things. First is the IP address of my master. Second is ID. ID is nothing but the name of the minion. The master will recognize this particular system by this name. So the name of my minion is min1. So first we will start the salt master with salt hyphen master command. The salt master process can run in various modes. For example, we can give hyphen D command to run it as a daemon. For this demo purpose, we'll run it in debug mode so that we know what's going on. There we have our salt master up and running. Next we'll start the salt minion the same way. Here we can see we get an error saying that the salt master has cached the public key for this node. The salt minion will wait 10 seconds before attempting to re-authenticate. So before the minion can connect to the master, the master needs to accept the minion's key. For that, we have salt key hyphen L command to list all the keys. There we can see in the unaccepted key section, we have min1. So we'll accept the key using hyphen a name of the minion. Yes, now we wait. Both our master and minion have started now. Let me resize the screen a bit. All right. So let us run some execution modules from the salt master to the minion. For that we have salt command, then the target. So I can provide star to indicate that I want this command to be run on all the minions. 
or I can use regex like min star. My first execution module would be test.ping. This function issues a ping from the master to the minion. So test is my module and ping is the function present in the test module. As you can see, we are successfully able to ping the minion from the master. Suppose we want to run a command as we would on the terminal. We have cmd.run command. Now let us create a file on the minion. For that, we have file.touch command followed by where we want to create a file. Let us check on the minion that the file is created. Yeah, we have the file. Now let us write something in this file. For that, we have file.write. The first argument is the name of the file. Second is the text we want. Okay, we'll check it on the minion. There. Now let us have a look at the grains which were collected by the master for minion one. For that we have solved grains dot items. As you can see, we have a huge list of things collected. We have the ZMQ version, the usernames, etc. Let us copy a file from the master to the minion. For this, salt has a simple file server in itself, which is running on the salt master. This server helps to distribute files from the master to the minion. Also for obvious security reasons, the minion can't have access to all the files. In the master configuration, present at slash etc slash salt, we need to define what all folders the minion can have access to. So for that, we use the keyword file roots. The next keyword is base. So salt has a grouping mechanism. It will group minions into different categories. So we can have few minions in base, some other minions in production, etc. By default, all the minions are present in the base. So that is why I define base and the folder which I want my base minions to have access to. In this case, it is slash temp slash minion. All right. So to copy the file, we have a command cp dot get file, the source where the file is present. So in the source, I have salt colon. This is nothing but the file root. In this case, it will be slash temp slash minion followed by the destination where I want my file to be copied. Okay, so the file is copied. We'll check it on the minion. Yeah, we have the file. That is all for this video. In the subsequent videos, we will have a look at Juno specific modules and other advanced features. Thank you.